Uh, so we are going to begin our stand-up this morning. Um, and um, we could begin with um, any announcements from uh, the Chen Academy team. Um, one, announcements, one announcement from Everest is that uh, today we will be having two tutorials um, in the morning and also in uh, the afternoon. And then we are going also to have um, uh, a guest talk uh, from uh, 3 p.m. UTC by Chris and uh, Laura. They are from uh, Pivot Bio. Pivot Bio is uh, uh, one of our partners. And um, yeah, I think uh, two of our graduates from the last batch are also working at Pivot Bio. They will be sharing about um, Pivot Bio Data Science and uh, use cases of uh, the LiDAR data at Pivot Bio, which are very essential for this week's challenge. So um, do we have any other announcements from uh, the Ten Academy team? Okay, so if we don't have any announcements from um, the team, we are going to kick straight to um, the stand-up of today. Uh, if your colleagues are not here, you can kindly remind them to join us for uh, this stand-up. I see we are only 13 on the call. Um, the number is a little bit small. So kindly, you can remind them on Slack to join us for this uh, stand-up. So, um, so today, uh, for the stand-up today, we'd love to ask uh, a few questions um, that maybe you can answer as uh, for what you've done, just to know the progress. So, um you you tell us uh what you have done yesterday in terms of um, uh in terms of the challenge of the week what were you able to do yesterday um and then also you tell us what blockers are you facing for um, this week's challenge and then also try and give how you feel are, do you feel like you are on track with um, the challenge for this week and uh, will you be able to submit um, for the interim submission? Will you be able to hand in um, for the interim submission? So let me see uh, who would go first. Yes, Martin. Okay, I thank you for the opportunity. Uh, so yesterday I've been working on uh, task number one, I was able to complete it, uh, just uh, loading the data. I got uh, like three samples and checked out how the data was arranged in those particular data uh, folders and directories. And then uh, after that I completed uh, and uh, I started uh, creating now uh, the connection between the, the API and also uh, being able to fetch it uh, real time uh, based on like if you want to request for anything you can be able to request for it according to the years according to and all that so uh, today I want to do the report and also uh, complete on task two yeah thank you um, are there any blockers that you're facing Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, they are so far so good. Although there was a question that I had uh, in the particular data set, there is um, there's this thing B1, B2, B3, B4. I wanted to just know what they symbolize. Yeah. Okay. So. Um... Um, I think maybe we'll be able to answer that. Uh, I have not gone through the data set itself. So uh, maybe if I don't see anyone in uh, the team maybe who has gone through that. 
So you'll be able to answer that maybe in one of the tutorials. So um, thank you, Martin, for giving us your um, uh, how you've been able to work. Um, so we have um, Beruk Nobinium. Good morning, uh, Desmond. Good morning. Okay, so to give you my, my update, uh, yesterday I've been able to uh, complete some parts of task one in as well as task two. Uh, I've been researching uh, how to go about uh, completing task three as well. That means the uh, interpolation part. Uh, some of the links that has been provided in the challenge document were helpful in that regard, but uh, I have one blocker uh, uh, when, when it comes to the task one. Uh, <clears throat> I have been able to download uh, and uh, make connection, make, I have been able to make connection to the data set on Amazon and uh, download some data, but so far I've been uh, able to do that only by providing the region as well as uh, uh, polygon uh, information. But uh, specifically, the challenge requires uh, requires that we only sub supply the polygon. So, uh, in order to uh, be able to download the data only using the polygon information, we need to be able to find find uh, the metadata on all regions and uh, just look through all of them to find the uh, matching uh, data data set for that specific polygon. But uh, so far, I have not been able to uh, download the metadata fully. Uh, for some reason, it, it only uh, supplies the first 1,000 lists. So if anyone has managed to download all the metadata, that means the list of all regions. Uh, programmatically, I mean, not uh, statically. I don't want the file. I, I want uh, an access to uh, a continuous access or a, uh, a programmatical way of accessing it. So if anyone has made uh, that work, uh, please let me know. Okay, if thank I you. Uh, reach out to Biniam. Yes, Martin. Yeah, I can reach out to Biniam. Okay, so I think Martin has been able to do that. Maybe he could reach out to Biniam and uh, he'll help you so that you can get the data. Um, uh, so, Biniam, do you feel like you are on track in terms of your submission? Will you be able to do your interim submission? Yeah, yes, Desmond. Uh, I think I can manage that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for that. Um, so we have Titus. Yeah, okay. Uh, good morning. Are you able to hear me? Yes, can proceed. Okay, thank you for the opportunity. Um, uh, from my side, I didn't uh, do much with uh, getting access to the data or maybe basically loading the data. Um, I had I didn't have Wi-Fi yesterday, so I relied on buying bundles, which uh, wasn't convenient enough because um, while I started downloading the data, it was like a very huge data. So I opted to getting a, a sample data set that was in one of the docu uh, d uh, links in the documentation challenge so that I basically just get to get a big, big picture of uh, the .rs file just basically going through it and uh, getting a hang out of what it does or maybe converting it into, into Rasa. Basically, I was exploring the data set. Uh, so um, basically today, I'm planning to use the GeoPandas library to, um, yeah, basically just getting hang of uh, the GeoPandas library to do task one. So my bench blocker is, uh, the, the, the getting the data, uh, I really had that block yesterday. So I'm hoping to uh, consult uh, my friends. Uh, I think I'll also join in uh, Biniam in the, the consultation to Martin about uh, uh, that issue. So yeah, that's my progress so far. And uh, about my my submission, uh, yesterday I while just looking at the documentations and uh, the links, I was able to 
write most of the stuff that I will use for today's submission. So um, yeah, I'm confident that I'll make it a submission, maybe a seven out of 10. Yeah, so yeah, I'm hoping to make, uh, I'll make the submission for today's tasks. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, that's my progress so far. Okay, thank you, Titus, for that. Um, so uh, we move to test five. Hello, everyone. Can you guys hear me? Okay. Um, okay. So uh, yesterday's update uh, from from my side will be uh, not really well because I didn't uh, uh, do anything yesterday. Almost anything. I just. Uh, were able to uh, look through uh, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to use, and uh, how I can fetch the data, and uh, also how I could uh, get the metadata out of the uh, AWS uh, bucket. Uh, but I, would, I was not able to do it because of uh, personal reasons, and uh, I'm planning on doing that right uh, today. So uh, I, I don't think the AWS is up now, so I was trying it uh, to install uh, Tidal module uh, today on my PC and uh, it was not installing for me. So uh, if anyone uh, was able to install that on their uh, machine, uh, I'm, I'm open to uh, get help. And only that was the only blocker, but I'm confident that I will make it to the submission for today. Okay, thank you. There's a comment. Have you tried using Conda to install Pidal? Okay. Okay. I'm not sure if this fight could hear us again. Uh, but uh, I think just check through um, the Slack. Uh, I think it's one of um, the things that have been answered there in Slack. Uh, so that, yeah, you can move on uh, if that's the only blocker that you're facing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's the only one. Uh, I'll look into it. Okay. okay. Thanks for your progress, um, giving us your progress. So we move to Daisy. Um, thank you, Desmond. Um, good morning, everyone. Um, so uh, for my progress, I was able to wind up on going through the references and uh, playing around with some of the tools that have been shared, like Plus.io, um, and just to interact with um, the class data sets as well. I um, was able to set up my repo on GitHub, um, and uh, one of the blockers I've been having was just being able to search um, into the AWS instance, which seemed to be a challenge for most of my team members I'm hoping to be able to resolve that once the instance is up to date um, and with regards to submission i think i'll be on track to um, submit as well thank you okay thank you daisy are you facing any blocker yes just the ssh bit okay um have you tried to reach out to anyone so that um You helped out? Um, uh, not yet, because I, it was, it seemed to be a similar issue with most of my teammates. So we're hoping to resolve that today. I'm um, just to understand where the issue is coming from. Okay. Okay. So maybe if you are not able to uh, resolve it with your teammates, you can um, ask help from any of the tutors so that you get moving. Okay, thank you. Okay, so uh, we move to um, Yedidia. Yeah, okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, so to give an update on your search, yeah, I'm, I was trying to work on the challenge. I haven't been able to work on it on Monday, so I started working on it starting from yesterday. And uh, I, I, I can't say that it's going well. Uh, it's going well. I have tried to go through the document the through the challenge document multiple times, but uh, I still don't have a clear picture of what we are supposed to do. Mm, I'm a bit confused on what I'm supposed to do, especially it's not clear for me 
why we have to download the data from the source manually if our task is to write some code to fill the data and also regarding with working with the APIs uh, I thought that we were going to work on some given endpoints maybe I'm not getting the full picture or I'm going the wrong way and it would be great if one of the tutors or even the trainees give some kind of guidance on that and I'm a bit stuck okay um is there anyone who could help you Lydia, to understand uh what the challenge of this week is all about. Yes, Martin. Yeah, I also had the same issue, but uh, I went and I uh, just uh, considered it. I, I looked at it and there's a particular article that uh, I shared uh, concerning how to connect the two that is from AWS programmatically. That is uh, not like uh, going to download the data and then uh, you start using it, but instead a programmatic way of how you can be able to access that data and pass in your coordinates or pass in whatever you want to pass, and then it will return for you output in that form of uh, the elevations and all those other things that uh, were being requested. Yes, yeah, so you can check it out uh, in the Slack channel. Okay, where do you get the Walmart? Sorry. Yeah? Where do you get those coordinates, those specific coordinates that you want to download? Is it on no, the data it, itself or? Uh, uh, if you, if you, if you, the, the way, the way the challenge document was saying is that uh, using GeoPandas, uh, you can, you, you need to get the input as a GeoPandas uh, data frame. That is uh, the, the, the boundary, the boundary polygon as the Geo, GeoPandas data frame. So uh, if, you are if you if you get the geopandas uh, just a boundary you can get the boundary from like even from the examples and then you pass in if you have generated the metadata automatically then that means if you pass in the boundary to that particular uh whichever whether it's we whichever type of state uh then you can be able to return uh the geopandas data frame that was being requested yeah so you can query it based on whatever you actually uh, want to pass. Okay, so we are getting that those GeoPandas coordinates from uh, from the from the document or from the USGS documentation. Now you pass in just any like uh, you any can pass in any coordinates, yeah. But the coordinates have to be within the particular states that are in USGS that data set. Thank you. Um, okay, you did it. You did it. Do you feel like you are on track uh, with the challenge of this week? Uh, and no, I, I don't feel like I'm on track for this week, but I will try to catch up uh, as quick as possible and try to work on the, today's interim submission as well as the challenge document. Okay. Um, so I think you can get more explanation maybe uh, from um, either of um, uh, from from one of your colleagues so that um, you get to understand why is it that we need the data, uh, uh, especially for creating of this um, the package that uh, we are creating this week. And then, yeah. Yes, Martin. The the. The downloading, you know, you, you the reason why you'll just download only one, maybe like for example, just a one uh, one folder, just as an example, is so that you can look at how the structure just uh, looks like from inside. But it's not that you are really going to use that particular folder for this particular task. So you just downloading it means that you just want to see how the structure is implemented so that when you are creating your when you're creating your own package it can be able to fit that particular data that particular folder structure that is in that uh, yeah that is over there inside because the folder structure is the same folder structure throughout all uh, other types so uh, because of that because of that similarity all you just need is uh, you understand the folder structure how it looks like then you can be able to uh now create your module so that it adapts to that folder structure i think okay so downloading only one of the data will be enough for case right 
Yeah, just only one because you're only looking at the folder structure. And once you've understood right. how the folder structure works, then you can implement it together with uh, so that you can be able to create your your own a way in which whichever if they ask from whichever folder struct from whichever folder you can be able to generate uh, the resulting uh, geopandas data frame. All right, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you for that. Um, um, thank you for giving us your progress, Yididia. I hope you'll be able to catch up so that you are able to do the interim submission. So could I also see other sets of hands as we proceed? Yeah, we have Meron. Yeah, hello everyone. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah, so I just wanted to give you uh, my update on my progress so far. Um, so far this week has been a bit, you know, overwhelming as well. And, and I, the litter data, everything, it's new to me. I'm trying to understand and read, go through all the documentation and the materials uh, that has been shared. I'm trying not to deviate from the challenge document, all the resources and the links that are shared there. I think I should just stick to that because there is like overwhelming amount of information there. And uh, thank you, Martin, for the Medium article you shared. I think I got uh, an idea about some of the things on there as well. I think it's helpful. So I just went through that as well. And basically, I'm reading and I'm also trying to plan out what to do, fetching the la the data and just uh, trying to get started with the task and complete it on time. I will be, I will try, I also work on the interim submission today. That's due today. So that's my update so far. Thank you. Are you facing any blockers, Meron? Uh, well, just the fact that uh, all these things are new, uh, there's no specific blocker I'm facing currently. I'm just new to everything and reading it. So that's understanding it is the basic challenge I think I'm facing. Okay, so, um... Thank you for your progress report. Uh, maybe we can have uh, can have Stella. Okay. Good morning. I hope that you can hear me. Yes, can hear you. Good morning. Just to give an update. Um, so so far, my week has been good. Uh, but I haven't made a lot of progress. Um, also facing the same challenges as most people, not really understanding um, how to work with the data well. But um, since yesterday, I've just been trying different things um, and getting ideas from uh, my fellow trainees. And I found that trying something new just helps me understand the data better. So I'm hoping that by today I'll have figured out a way to work with it and also complete my uh, interim submission by evening. I'm pretty hopeful and um, yeah, it's going out so far. No blockers on my end. Thank you. Okay. Do you feel like you're on track with uh, the challenge of this week? Um, let's say um, 50 50, not there yet, but I'll say that I'm on the right track. Okay, okay. Um, um, so, could we have another set of hands? Okay, we have Samuel. Okay, hello and good morning this moon and hello everyone. Uh, from my side, I had a power shortage outage. It was, not, it was out all day. 
So that's one of my bloggers. And I had a, um, I, I guess I'm not on 100% uh, like understand the challenge, but I, uh, I hope I'll get back on track and follow along with my fellow trainees. Okay, Samuel, uh, what part don't you understand in the challenge so that you you can be helped? It's already Wednesday, so we have a few days left for you to handle the challenge. I guess he did uh, ask the, the question and Martin shared the document, so I'll look into that. And if I have okay. any, I'll say, uh, I'll post it on Slack. Okay, will you be able to submit your interim? Yes, I hope so, yeah. I'll, I think I'll send my, my interim on time. Okay. okay. Um, did you did you share with us any blockers that you're facing, maybe apart from the power outage? No, the power and understanding fully what's expected from us, I guess both of the, only both of that. Okay. We hope that you'll be able to catch up and maybe also do your interim submissions on time. Um, so we have um, Abel. Okay, hello everyone. Hello. Okay, I, I, I spent Monday reading on the theory and concepts related to LiDAR data, uh, as well as uh, how to obtain and standardize it. In the yesterday, uh, I prepared the requirement file to install all dependencies uh, on one go. And today I will continue working on obtaining uh, and extracting the necessary structures. Uh, for to, today's submission, I don't feel that confident, but I will manage to catch up as quickly as possible. Uh, that's what I have. Okay. Are there any blockers that you're facing on your end? Uh, yesterday I was confused on how to download the data set or how to extract, how to obtain or explore uh, a way to explore only some sample coordinates and obtaining them. That was a bit much confusing, but uh, yeah, I will talk to some friends and I'll figure it out. Okay. Um, so do, do you still feel like you're on track um, with uh, the challenge of this week? Yeah, I think I will manage to catch up as quickly as possible. I think I can manage that. Okay. Uh, uh, we hope you will be able to catch up after uh, you've been able to reach a few friends so that they can um, help you understand uh, uh, how you can access the data, how you, how you can download the data. Um, so yeah, I can see Matilda saying she had a power outage yesterday and so she was not able to do much, hoping that you'll be able to catch up today and do your interim submission. So, yeah, uh, we hope you'll be able to catch up. Um, and then, Danite saying uh, you have been looking at the document and the references, and you've been able to set up your repo, try to create issues on your repo, um, as Yababel had suggested, and hopefully saying you'll be able to complete the interim submission sometime. Okay, so we hope we will be able to uh, do your interim submissions. So can we get also another set of hands? Um, anyone who wants to go next? Okay, I know sometimes it's, um, uh, it becomes difficult to speak, uh, but with time you get the confidence uh, to speak, especially 
uh, when you have meetings like this. So uh, maybe I just pick randomly so, so that uh, we'll be able to hear from also those who are not able to raise their hands. I think that will help them in creating confidence. So, um, Kinok, Kinok, could you give us your update? Kinok, if you're able to hear us. Okay, maybe if Hinok is not there, could we hear from uh, Remet? Okay. Hinok is saying there's no mic today. Remet? Okay, I'm not sure if Remet is um, able to speak. Um, maybe can we have uh, Hikma? Um, if Hikma is not able to hear us, maybe let's have Kevin. Good morning, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, so yesterday I was I, I was trying to go through some references and set up my GitHub. And also I was trying to download it, some folders that have been shared after the, the, the yesterday tutorial. I've tried to download it, some data. And today I'm planning to go through the to data, trying to understand the, the data format. Not sure what happened um, with Kevin. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so I was saying that yesterday I, I, I passed through the inference trying to understand the some of the concept and there's uh, I set up my GitHub repo and some Git issues and also I was able to to download the one folder of the data. So today I will pass through that data to understand the format of the data and to work on my on my report. Yeah. Okay. Are there any blockers that you're facing? Uh, not any technical broker, but like it was difficult to understand some concept because some are new to me. Okay. Um, yeah. Do you feel like you are um, you are on track in terms of uh, the challenge for this week? Uh, I would say yes, because like looking at the variables for today, I could able to submit like eight per eight per eighty percent, and I will try to my best to be able to be on track for this challenge. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you for, um, thank you for giving us your uh, progress. I'm not sure if Kikma, are you able to speak so that you give us your progress? Kikma. Okay, um, looks like maybe Hikma is not able to speak. Um, so um, let's have maybe Faith Bagheri.
Uh, hi, Desmond. Hi. Yeah, um, me too. I've been uh, reading the, uh, the week seven document, uh, trying to understand um, what we are expected to do. Um, but um, I will, uh, until now, I'm not able to access the data. Uh, but I noticed there is a tutorial like in uh, 30 minutes about uh, fetching data. Hopefully after that, I'll be able to access the data and then um, uh, start with uh, visualization. Um, I wouldn't say I'm on track, uh, but hopefully I will be able to submit uh, interim uh, submissions. Okay. Um, okay, thanks. Are, are there any blockers that you're facing um, apart from maybe you not being able to fetch the data? Uh, no, any other blockers. Okay. But do you feel you are on track in terms of the week's challenge? Uh, yes, yes. As long as I get the data, um, I've been reading about uh, um, the task we are supposed to do. So I think, yeah, I'll be able to finish. Okay, okay. Um, thank you for that, um, for that progress that you have given us. So looking around um, in the call, looks like uh, maybe everyone has been able to give us um, um, their progress. So uh, maybe I would, I would just repeat the announcements that we had and then Maybe we can call. Um, we can call. We can bring this meeting to a close. The standard to a close. So, um, so today we'll be having. Today we'll be having um, uh, two tutorials. Uh, so today we'll be having two tutorials. One in the morning and also one in the afternoon, and then there will be um, a guest tutorial at 3 p.m. UTC that will be given by Chris and uh, Laura. They are from Pivot Bio, which is one of our partners. So they will be sharing about um, the Pivot Bio data science and the use cases in LiDAR data um, at Pivot Bio. Um, those uh, are very essential, especially for this week's challenge. So um, those are the announcements from the team. Um, not sure if there's any other announcement. Um, but if there's no other announcement, um, we can prepare for the tutorial that is coming up uh, from um, 9 a.m. UTC. Uh, that is just in some few minutes time. Um, the one for fetching, loading, and transforming LiDAR data so that you can be, be able to use with uh, PDAL, LASP, and uh, GeoPandas. So with that, um, that will bring us to the end of today's stand-up. Um, keep reminding your colleagues that it is important for them to attend these stand-ups. It prepares you for um, the work environment that you will be ha having. So that will bring us to the end. Um, have a nice time and see you at uh, 9 a.m. UTC in 19 minutes time.